Hey, what's up guys? It's Riz. Welcome back to my channel. So today, 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 actually not today, <laughs> over the weekend, my sweet, just incredible husband, we were leaving breakfast with our family and he was kind of going the wrong way from where we had planned to be going. And I asked him, I was like, bruh, where are you going? And he goes, I'm going to do something for my wife. So I'm thinking, okay, like, mm. Well, he got up his sleeve, girl. <laughs> so to give a long story short, we pulled up to Ulta and he bought me the Jackie Ina palette. I was literally so happy because <laughs> ever since she announced that she was collabing with ABH. I was literally so happy because I really wanted to buy it the first day that it came out, like the early, early release date before August 15th. I think that's when it went nationwide or something like that. But I couldn't get my hands on it for some reason. I think it was sold out, maybe. I don't remember. So when he bought me this, I was literally so happy and I was even happier you guys when I looked inside and I saw all of these gorgeous <sighs> brown skin, dark skin friendly shades y'all. Listen, every single one of these shades in this palette is dark girl, brown girl friendly. Like if y'all only knew how long I have been waiting for this. <sighs> Oh my goodness. So this is a standard Anastasia of Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette that has 14 shades in it and it retails for $45 as Jackie was a. So ABH palettes are expensive. Mine came to $48 with tax. So that's dang near $50. That's a lot for a palette. But in my opinion, every single one of Anastasia's palettes are worth it, especially this one. And it's limited edition, it's a keepsake, it's from my girl Jackie, so I mean, duh, go support it. So I'm gonna be creating this look right here for you guys. I have been wanting to get cute and like super glammed up for a very long time. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial because I know how much you guys hate <laughs> when I talk this much in my intro, so let's just go. I kind of have this look in my head that um, I want to do, but honestly, it kind of seems like I've already done it before. Uh, but you know what? I just, these are literally all of the colors that, uh, it's just so good. And I can't help but to do kind of the same look not really that I always do, cause it's gonna be a little different, but uh, mm, girl, I don't know, we go see. So I'm gonna just do the look that's in my head. I So I have y'all zoomed in really closely so you can see what I'm doing really well because this look is very intricate. And first things first, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion just so I can have a nice tacky base down so my shadows can have something to stick to. I wish I had the ABH primer, but I don't. I'm using my ring finger to blend this out uh, because I like the tacky feeling. Now this primer got super tacky, so I'm not sure if there are gonna be patches when I blend, but we're gonna go ahead and see. All right, I'm gonna take my fluffy blending brush and I think the first shade that I'm gonna go in with is ginger and i'm gonna use this as my transition shade yeah this is totally giving me mac saddle vibes and it is kind of clinging to my primer so maybe i should have like maybe i shouldn't have did that maybe i should have just used concealer i know it's not the eyeshadow because any other time that i use abh shadows it does not do this trust me and again it's doing the same thing on the other eye dang i should not have used that primer oh it's okay i'll try to fix it so i just took this uh, it's really a concealer brush i just took that and blended that and, and it did have a little bit of leftover dried concealer on it and it seemed like that did the trick. So I'm gonna go in with pinker right here. I'm going to put that like directly into my crease and then I'm gonna go in with that purple in the palette. Oh yeah, that's giving me what I want. Oh, this shade is 
so pretty. Yeah, it's just giving me like that purple hue, you know? Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, it looks more purple than it does on camera. It looks more pink on camera, but girl, eh! All right, now I'm gonna go in with this shade called Big Wig. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, vibrant purple color. It's like eggplant. Actually, no, it's a little bit brighter than eggplant. I am going to stamp this on the outer corner. See, I know I wanna cut my crease, but I don't know if I wanna do like inner, inner, or hmm i think i'm just gonna do inner inner and i feel like i need a smaller blending brush for this but we're just gonna see so i am making a halo and once i get the build up the color build up that i want i'm gonna connect the two by just sweeping it in windshield wiper motions just like this and I feel like I did, I've done this technique on my channel before, definitely. And it was last Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, you guys, this palette, like if you are a brown skin girl, you need this palette. And I'll probably say this more than once throughout the video because I'm just so excited about it. But look at this color payoff and just like, oh. This is a dream come true. This is so pretty already. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm going to take my, this is a MAC 242 brush. This is the flat concealer or flat definer brush. And I'm just gonna take some of my, mm, my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Oh man, you guys, I don't know. I am stuck between, well, let me flip it over so y'all can really see. I'm stuck between this shade and this shade but i think i'm gonna use this shade because it's just calling my name so i am making sure that my brush is nice and saturated and this is just to ensure that i get the best color payoff possible and that i really define that crease like really cut that thing girl i'm just gonna pick a little bit up like that and I'm gonna knock off the excess just to make sure that I don't have any fallout. I'm going to place it in the center, drag it down just like that, just so I can get my placement. So I'm literally only staying in that middle part and when I get to the top, I'm gonna keep it pretty low. I'm just gonna stay right at my, um, I'm gonna stay right above my lid and I'm just gonna drag that shade and stop. If I tilt my head back, you can kind of see, but it's easier to do than it is to explain. So I'm just cutting the crease and I'm just stopping like midway. Okay, so now that I got my crease cut, if I lean back, you can kind of see what I did. I am just going to, I'm stuck in between. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use my finger. So I'm gonna take, ooh, this, color is so pigmented that it has so much fallout so make sure that you're super careful because if you already have on makeup like me and if you don't have on um powder underneath your eyes to catch the fallout it's gonna be a hot mess so i'm just taking that same color and i'm basically just filling in the gaps underneath where i placed that color you know all right so i'm gonna go back into that big wig shade and replace the color that I lost as I was cutting my crease. So I'm really just taking it and just stamping it, not really going over that um, cut crease shade that we just laid down. All right, so that looks good. I'm gonna do one more thing just to spruce up this look because this color in this palette is calling my name. I can't help it. I just, ugh, I can't help it. So I'm just gonna clean off my brush that I used for the cut crease shade just a little bit. I'm gonna get it wet once more. <sighs> Y'all know this red jewel tone in this palette. It's called Wigglies. Mm, I have to do something with this. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take that shade on my brush and I'm just gonna put this right on the outer corner 
of where we cut the crease at. So I'm basically going over it with the red shade, but I'm staying on the outside. So just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the inner portion. You guys, look how like, look at this color payoff. Then I'm gonna go back in with that purple shade one more time just to clean up them edges. Cause I kind of want everything to fade. Yeah, 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 like that. Mm. All right, so I am pretty much done. All I have to do is put on my lashes and do the bottom lash line. I forgot to mention that this is the brush that came in the palette. I'm not sure if I said that already, but if I didn't, this is the brush that I use to get that precision in the inner and the outer corner. So I'm just gonna put on my lashes real quick and I'll be right back. Whoo, I feel like I am all the way together because I got my lashes on, girl. I have no idea what style, what brand these lashes are. And I hate that because I freaking love, like these are the most dramatic lashes that I own. <laughs> and I don't know who they came from. All right, so let's finish this eye look by adding a little bit of black liner in the waterline. Hmm, okay, so this is what I'm thinking for my bottom lash line. I think that I am, gosh, honestly, I don't even know. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna use my MAC 212 this flat kind of shader brush and I'm gonna go in with big wig that purple shade and I'm gonna run that right underneath my lower lash line I really want to use wigglies uh, and I think I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put that right underneath there yep that's what I wanted <gasps> I haven't felt this cute and I don't know how long girl so I am I'm just feeling myself a little bit. All right, let's finish up this face by dusting all of this fallout away. I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Powder. Aside from the occasional glitter, like down around my mouth area, girl, there is no fallout. Oh my gosh, I just... Well, I was more concerned about the purple falling everywhere, but it just went wide on the way. All right, so for my blush, I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Toasted Almond. You guys know this is one of my favorite blushes ever. And I opted to use this one because it's very muted. It gives me a nice flush of color without doing the most. So for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using my Shayla Times ColourPop. I think, yeah, this is the booming highlighter. Now on days like this, where I am, you know, like extra, extra glam, I do like to use a really strong highlighter. And this is the strongest highlighter that I own. So look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes, girl. Ooh, giving it to me today, okay? Like, who am I? Now I'm gonna spray my face real quick. That was my uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I am going to, I don't know what lip I wanna do, shoot. I'm like, I wanna do, okay, I think I do know what lip I wanna do, hold please. All right, so I'm just gonna line my lips with my Shayla Times ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. So I have three options. All of these are um, Relevant Cosmetics lipsticks. And the owner of Relevant actually sent me all of her lipsticks that she owns. And the owner is actually another one of my fellow Anwal members. So hey girl. You guys, I kid you not, these lipsticks are so, these are literally the creamiest lipsticks that I've ever used in my life. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. So this first shade is called Flirt. This is kind of like that uh, dusty rose shade that has kind of like a, I would say like a, yeah, it's a dusty roll shade. <laughs> then we have the shade Trust Me. This is one of my favorites. That's just like a, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's, oof, my shade girl. And this last one is called Enticing. And I think I'm gonna use this one because this is kind of like that peachy, I guess nude that Jackie always talks about. <laughs> so these two are very similar. 
um let me see yeah i think i'm gonna do this one right here so this is in the shade enticing Then I'm gonna to top it off with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Then I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished look. I feel so grown and sexy right now. <laughs> I really think it's just this lip, girl. Mm, it is giving it to me. Okay, my thoughts on the Anastasia of Beverly Hills times Jackie Ina palette. <sighs> Girl, listen, okay. Since I was a rookie doing makeup in high school on the side just to earn, you know, a little bit of extra money, a little bit of extra income, girl, I literally have been hollering and hollering and just shouting from the mountaintops that us brown, dark-skinned girls, I wouldn't really consider myself like um, super dark-skinned, definitely brown, but all my life I've been considered the dark-skinned girl, so that's just what I refer to myself as. But I swear to you, since I've been in makeup, I have been saying that someone needs to come out with a palette specifically for dark skinned girls that every single eyeshadow in the palette works on dark skin. And Jackie Ina did that with this palette. I'm just finally so happy and it, it uh, you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, you know how I feel about diversity and inclusion. I have built a whole company around it. And it just seems like when brands come out with eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes, even, you know, single eyeshadows, but specifically eyeshadow palettes, they cater to one specific type of woman and that's the lighter skinned woman, right? Now, I'm not saying that they do this all the time, but majority of the time, I would even go as far as to say 95% of the time, you know, us brown slash dark skinned women, we can't use every single shade in the palette. I mean, we can, but we can't use it, you know, to our advantage um, as much as the Caucasian women, just to be completely honest. And so this palette, <laughs> it sounds cheesy, it sounds corny, but it really does mean so much to me that a fellow brown skin, dark skin woman, you know, collaborated with a major brand. When she announced this collaboration, no, let me tell you, when Trend Move posted the uh actually I, I don't know who it was it was either jackie or trend mood but when they posted the illegal filter the black and white filter basically saying that something was coming and jackie was working on something i automatically knew that it was an anastasia palette just because like we all know what the abh palettes look like right like that's just their signature that's their stamp and there's really not any other palettes on the market that is like this, like shaped like this, size like this. We know that, you know, this is an Anastasia palette. So when she announced that she was coming out with a collab, but she didn't reveal that she was working with ABH yet, I automatically knew, I literally screamed in my house. I was like, oh my gosh, she's collaborating with Anastasia. And I commented on Trend Mood's post when she posted this and I said, this is huge. You guys have no idea how big of a deal this is. And for the life of me, I can't understand why more influencers and more, you know, just people who aren't black girls aren't supporting this. I totally knew that, you know, people of color or black people in general were going to celebrate this more than, and I hate to make this about race and a race war, but I just automatically knew that she was gonna be celebrated by her own people more than people who are not her people, you know what I mean? But I just, I can't understand why she isn't getting more support here on YouTube from influencers and vloggers who aren't 
black. Jackie is literally always supporting everybody. Anytime somebody drops a collab, even if it's trash, if we gonna be completely honest, because Listen, I ain't got time to be spilling no tea, but it's some tea out there, okay? I mean, she literally supports everybody, her fellow influencers, even, you know, like the non-bigger YouTubers like me. I'm sure she has no idea who I am, but she celebrates just beauty in general and, you know, like success and she's just all about everything that I'm all about and so I just she's like my eye keeps leaking and it's about to drive me insane because it this never happens and it's literally messing up my makeup and it's making me upset no but seriously Jackie is one of the least problematic uh vloggers beauty influencers youtubers whatever you want to label it she I mean she's really in drama you don't really hear anything bad about her unless they're haters just making up lies and you guys know that's what haters do but i just i don't know i just feel some type of way about this not being celebrated in the capacity that amrezy will be celebrated or Norvina will be celebrated or who else? Alyssa Edwards, you know, the collabs that that ABH has done with some of the non-people of color. Like I said, I hate to make this about race. Maybe it's because Jackie doesn't have as many followers as Amrezy or, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I just, either way, this is a huge win for black girls in the beauty industry, especially for black girls like me, because I just feel like she's just broken so many glass ceilings for us and she really has paved the way for beauty influencers who are black, like me. I've been watching Jackie ever since she was Lil Pumpkin Pie 05, okay? <laughs> And just to see this happen and to see her success, I am literally so thrilled and so excited and so happy for her. So once again, congratulations, Jackie. This palette, this is more than just a palette. This is a huge win for us black people in the beauty industry. So thank you. And it's definitely, definitely, definitely RIS approved. All right, you guys. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I know that I just said a mouthful, but I just had to get that out, you know, cause it's been, I've been holding it in ever since I saw that, you know, she was coming out with a palette with Anastasia. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you check the description box if you want to know any other um, product that I use that I didn't mention or that you didn't catch. It'll be listed in the description box. If you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter already, make sure you do so. I have those linked in the description box as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.